with searching for a recipe called apple for that we have got a lot of results as we can see so these are the first two are featured and the rest are the other top recipes right now the task that we have to do is we have to fetch all these non featured items so that we can find the recipe for that to do that let's go back to our code and let's here is the option to scrape some data from the screen click on data scraping and just click on next then you will have the capture option as you can see just capture the name of the recipe click on that then to show the pattern to the system click on next and point to the next item available here so it will show what values it was able to extract it was able to extract the text which is zaffle maker apple pies and you want to extract the URL also so that we can go inside it and fetch the recipe for that just give the name as name and URL once that is done click on next see this is the data it was able to fetch for apple cranberry winter pinch as you can see this one you were the UI path was able to fetch the URL of it okay and similarly it has done it for all the available items just click on finish and it is asking that if you want to go to the next page and fetch the rest of this items in all the pages no we don't want it no done so as you can see you have got a new activities over here which says it's a data scraping sequence this is the sequence this is the attached browser and then this activity is actually giving us the extracted output let's see what it is giving us now oh, I'm in the projects let's go to the activities and type output data table just fetch it here pass the extracted table to this what's the table name it's extracted data table let's change the scope of it so it is available outside to save come back to this here type extracted data table and the output into create a variable called str enter and display the output in a message box here is a message box str done so what I will do right now is I will take this page back to the home page because as we can see our flow starts from searching the bar let me run it once run file as you can see it has typed I apple and there were results over there it has fetched the values in the name below the name it's apple cranberry winter punch and in the URL you have the URL to it close this that is how we scrape some data available on the screen this is called data scraping